Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. 1984, Lee Greenwood had just started singing God Bless the USA. Anywhere you went, people would spontaneously shout, I ain't afraid of no ghost. And Apple ran this remarkable commercial to introduce the Macintosh. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary. The Orwellian world is full of look-alike zombies made that way by evil PC manufacturers who use surveillance and mind control to make everyone look the same, think the same, be the same. Then crazy Apple woman comes running through. She throws Thor's hammer into the big screen TV and shocks the poor humans right out of 1984. I never quite got that part, but uh, the basic message is Apple, cool because it's free-spirited. Big Brother, not cool. Now skip ahead more than 25 years to today. Apple is a corporate giant selling tiny computers that include video cameras and GPS and occasionally the ability to make a phone call. But when it designed the iPhone, iPod, iPad, Apple decided to control every single program you can load on it. If Apple opens the gate, the app comes in. If Apple changes its mind, the app is kicked out. Then along comes the Manhattan Declaration app. It's a thoughtful explanation of Christian ideas on marriage, life, and religious freedom. Apple lets it in, certain groups complain, Apple kicks it out, Apple declares it offensive to large groups of people. Which is another way of saying, people are only allowed to think like Apple thinks they should think. Then along comes an app by Christian ministry Exodus International. Exodus says, through the redeeming power of Jesus, people can experience radical change. Apple lets it in, certain people complain, Apple kicks it out, Apple declares it offensive to large groups of people. Which is another way of saying, people are only allowed to think like Apple thinks they should think. With the opposition groups at two for two so far, we're all just waiting to see what app Apple kicks out next. So the lesson we've learned is, 1984, Apple's cool Thor hammer frees people from mind control. 2011, Apple has become the very mind-controlling big brother it once threw a hammer at. Ghosts, I am not afraid of them.